Hi guys! In today's video we will touch upon the topic of restoring printing after a power outage or other reasons. Friends, I share personal experience that have helped me twice in this situation. You are responsible for your actions and 3D models. Enjoy watching! My 3D printer and the computer connected through uninterruptible power supplies. I started the model to print from the program Cura connecting the printer via a USB cable. This day there were failures with electricity. And at the time of the next power surge, the printer stopped printing, but the extruder and the table continued to warm. There was some glitch and the command stopped coming to the printer. I did not want to print again and I began to look for solutions. If the display works, you need to record the coordinates of XYZ. This will greatly help to continue interrupted printing. Be sure to immediately turn on the heating table to operating temperature, so that the model does not come off. The extruder is heated to the melting temperature of the plastic. Then raise the axis Z for a few millimeters. Then press Home X. and immediately reduce the temperature of the extruder. This is how the part looks on top. Now you need to carefully study the 3D model. It is better to start with the nearest convenient plane or any element of the product. For example, in this place you can see that the one hand there are 5 layers and on the other 4. So the printer obviously didn't print in this place. Now you need to cut the molten plastic and carefully examine the item in the place where the printing was interrupted. On the right side you can see that 5 layers are printed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now look at the left. Here two five layers. The place where the print was interrupted is to melt it and it is difficult to disassemble anything. And then we see that only four layers are printed. One, two, three, four. Now we know where to look and go to the computer. Open the model in the slicer. You need to determine the layer number. To do this, use the slider. Here is the surface from which the report was conducted. It is 28 layer. Add 5. So 33 layer is what we need. This is where the print stopped. It is very important that the location and scale of the model are the same as when printing. If you have a saved G-code file, we need it. The other slider shows the trajectory of the nozzle. You can see anything clearly. Next, we have another task. To make the printer start printing from this place. To do this, you need to edit the G-code file. For convenience, you can save the file under the name resume print. Open it in any text editor. We know for sure that we don't need 32 layers, so we find 33 layer. We type in the search layer 33 and remove all layers before it. To speed up this process, put the cursor at the end of the line, clamp the shift using the slider back at the beginning, click at the beginning of the line of the zero layer and delete. It should be like this. Save the file. To make changes to the G-code file, download and install the program Repeater Host. Link to the official website I will leave in the description of the video. Open the saved G-code file of the model. The code visualization opened. Light lines indicate the movement of the nozzle. Click Show Layer Change. The light green line shows the trajectory of the extruder to the point where printing starts. Last layer 2. Layer 33 is displayed. To see what actions the execution of each line of code leads to, put the cursor at the beginning of the layer before G1 and clamping at the right time shift key. Gradually select the text. On the model the printed part of the layer will be displayed in yellow. So you need to reach the desired location. Already close. Layer 
Let's stop at this place. Delete the selected code fragment. Let's make some changes. Team G0 is idling. That is, simply moving the extruder without extruding plastic. In this place the coordinates of the place from which the printing of 33 layers began are indicated. But since we have removed part of the code, we need new coordinates of the beginning of printing. To the nozzle does not hit the model when you move extruder. Add another line with the team G0 and write to our coordinate Z6.9 mm. Add in the first line indicate Z10. This means that the extruder first moves along the Z axis by 10 mm, then along the X and Y axis and then falls along the Z axis to the point of 6.9 mm. Now you need to accurately specify the coordinates of X and Y. Copy them from the first team G1 and insert it into G0. It is very clear that now the printing will start from the point we indicated. Save the G-code file. Write on the micro SD card and run to print. Drum roll. Well, that's great! The printing continued from the same place. A little later we'll see what happened. The model was printed, in the middle part of the defect was formed for other reasons. But back to our topic. Here you can clearly see the border between the two stages of printing. For some reason, the layers in this place are not very well centered together. In such cases, you may need to set other print settings for the first layers. By the way, this is PLA plastic. When printing, it was found that the model was printed without cooling. Maybe this is the reason for the poor adhesion of layers in the place of continuation of printing. If you have any ideas, write in the comments. The printed model turned out to be quite working and performs its functions well. In general, I believe that this method of resuming printing after a failure is fully functional and suitable for any decorative products or other models that will not be loaded at the junction of layers. Until then, until you have found optimal settings continue printing for a better adhesion. I think that for conventional products chemical post-processing will increase the reliability of the compound and improve the appearance. And finally I show how the mouse trap looks assembled and in operation, but without a mouse. I hope this video was useful for you. Good luck! Bye!